Hello again. Uh, today we are going to learn how to round numbers to the nearest thousand. And we're going to start by reviewing how to round numbers to the nearest ten. Uh, the first thing you need to know when you're rounding a number is what are your options? An easy way to figure out your options when you're rounding to the nearest ten is to make your t-chart, label your ones and your tens, and then take a look at your tens place right here. And you see there's a 3 there. And you know the value of that 3, if you use our trick, is to bring it down to 30. And so you always know that's going to be your lower value. It's like this. And the way to find your upper range, the one that goes over here, is just add 10 more. If you're not quite sure how many more is next, just count by 10. 0, 10, 20, 30, and next is 40. Now, to figure out which one of these is our right answer for any of the nearest 10, we need to take a look in our ones place, right here. And if you're in my class, you know we have a bunch of different rhymes, five and above, fly like a dove, four and below, let it go, and sometimes, yes, we sing let it go. Um, but really, sometimes those get confusing. So if you're not sure, just remember if it's four, three, two, one, or zero, you round down. If that one of those numbers is in the ones place, we round down. If it's 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9 in the ones place, we round up. And so since we have a 7 here, we know that our answer is 40. 37 rounded to the nearest 10 is 40. Okay? So, let's try rounding the nearest 100 next. We get a nice 3-digit number. 345. The process is exactly the same, it's just we moved all our place values over one. And so I find it's really useful to start with a chart. We have our ones, our tens, and our hundreds. And this time, since we're rounding the nearest hundred, we need to look there to figure out what our choices are. And so again, we find the value of that place. So there's another three there, so we bring it down, we make everything else a zero. And we have the place value, the value of the 3. And so we know that 300 goes here. And since we're rounding the nearest 100, now instead of counting by 10s to figure out this value, we know we're going to count by 100s. And it's the same thing. It's 100, 200, 300. Next comes 400. OK. Now, going back to that number, we know that our choices are 300 and 400. And instead of looking in the ones place to decide if we're going to round up or down, we're going to look right here in the tens place. And the rule is exactly the same. If it's 4, 3, 2, 1, or 0, we round down. If it's 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, we round up. And since there's a 4 in the tens place this time, we get to round down to 300, to our smaller number. Okay. Pretty easy. Same exact method as rounding to the nearest 10, except now we have hundreds. Okay. Let's get crazy and go up all the way to the thousands. So let's start with 2,792. doesn't matter what number we start with. Remember from our last video, this comma means thousands. Okay. Now, same thing. I would think it's great to start with a chart, just like before. That way you always know what place value you're looking at. So we have our ones, we have our tens, we have our hundreds, and we have our thousands. Okay. This time, since we're running the nearest thousands place, we need to look right here in the thousands to get our choices. And we know the value of that too. We bring it down, bring our comma down, and we make everything else a zero. It becomes 2,000. So our lower choice is 2,000. And our upper choice is 1,000 more. So we're adding one more thousand to the thousands place. We had two. Now we're adding one. So it's 3,000. Just like that. Okay. 
Now, again, when we round to the nearest hundred, we looked in the tens place to decide if we rounded up or down. Thousands is no different. We're just looking in the hundreds place, which is right here. And there's a seven there. So again, five and above, fly like a dove, four and below, let it go. And if you want, you can draw out your numbers just like before with your arrows, just like this. Four, three, two, one, or zero, we round down. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We round up, just like that. Since there is a seven in the hundreds place, that means we round up. Okay. All right. So hopefully, this helps you learn just a little bit more about how to round to the nearest thousands. Um, I put another Google quiz on here for you. Uh, please feel free to take it, practice, and I'll see you in class.